team. Yes, it's about it. <laughs> First of all, how do you feel about stupid? Well, stupid is good. <laughs> no, I think uh, people are too serious and we have to be a bit stupid, uh, a bit more stupid because everybody's like, well, oh, we have to be serious and everything has to be perfect. And I think, well, no, just do some crazy things sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's also fun. Does it fit in your lifestyle? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, coming closer to the film. How did you feel the difference between dealing with real and imaginary characters? As I know it, you had also humans as characters and imaginary ones also. Yeah, yeah well, it was... Uh we did it in a few parts, so one day we did the real characters and the other day we did the animation, so it was another big step between them because it was like one day it was this and the other day it was that, but I think I prefer to work with real actors because <laughs> animation is so hard and you have to control every little bit of it and in real life people can just improvise mm -hmm. and animation is not, yeah, it's also improvising but not so much as real life. Mm -hmm. So the real characters uh, uh, should not have been that many times controlled. <laughs> <laughs> or well, no. <laughs> if it is possible, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and wasn't it uh, easier to control these imaginary ones than the normal person? Uh, yeah, of course, because they have don't have an input. They're just flat, and you can do everything with them. <laughs> And you, you beat their brains, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they have don't have their own opinion. So yeah, it's very easy to do. <laughs> but it was a nice phrase that you could ha you were able to beat their brains. And uh, oh, the yeah, next question is <laughs> connecting to this oh. topic. Um, could you please tell us in which way, which in which ways your group members had the possibility to relate to the characters present in the film? Well, I think, uh, yeah, we chose two, two characters. The one was a bit the stupid one, saying only one word all the time, almost. And the other one was a bit smarter. And I think everybody could just add all their stupid things in it. Everybody was, yeah, how can I say it? There was such an open space to make, to put your own thoughts in it. And, and so I, I think there is from every, Person, there's a little bit of character in it. Mm -hmm. But did you make one character, one imaginary character, all together, or everybody had his or her own opportunity of making? No, I feel we made just one. It was just, we we did it very easy. Uh, we did make a contrast. One was stupid, other one was smart. Oh. Okay, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't Which make you. <laughs> <laughs> stupid, of course. <laughs> No, I think uh, in the story the characters don't really uh, light up. It's just the whole story, the character are just one part in it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Understood. And, uh, do you find any connection between your personality and your characters? Well, uh, a bit. Outlook or uh, inside part. Well, the, the characters are very close to people. They wear uh, very uh, cl clothes that you can't see their face and you, they don't say a lot. So in that way, I'm totally not like that. I'm very open and I say a lot. <laughs> you maybe noticed it. And, but the funny things that they thought about, I think everybody and also me can sometimes have such an experience. Yeah, I want to add some particular things in it, but I'm, go I'm going to keep it as a secret, so I'm sorry, I can be so very particular. Okay, so we should wait until the evening. Yes, to the premiere. <laughs> so you have um, chosen this word learning. Uh, in what way would you consider this 48 hour marathon to be a learning experience? Well, I think the best learning was to work within a group from all different countries and to speak in a language that which isn't yours and you have just to have to manage it and 
And somehow, I think for me that was the best learning because I always work with Dutch people and not with people from other countries. And at first I was like, oh, oh how are we going to do this? And uh, But in the end, I, it works so good and I'm so surprised and it goes so easy. It's just like a river. It goes really and haven't you built a new language, Aphrodite? Or you say that English? <laughs> We thought about Aphrodite, <laughs> but it sounded a bit like Jabber talk, so we just uh, stick with English. <laughs> it was easier in this Yeah, it was easier. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> While I was uh, looking at you in the middle of the night, at 4 o'clock in the seminar room, yeah. I thought uh, you were talking in Aphrodite. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was so tired. <laughs> Not a normal word can come out of my mouth anymore. I was just like, oh. <laughs> and could you please tell us a funny story? A funny story? Well, <laughs> that's my question. It's very specific. Uh, it's, it's hard to make up a funny. Uh, yeah, I have to be honest because I think funny stories are only funny at the moment that it happens. So, um, yeah, my most funniest memory is when me and the Matos had to record the sock puppets. We had to add their voice and we tried and we tried and we tried and at the end it was just like, okay, just do it, whatever. And we said some really weird stuff and just put it in a movie. <laughs> but yeah, it was really funny at the moment. Sorry. But we will have the opportunity <laughs> to, yeah, to, to laugh to yeah, and, me. or not to laugh. It's up oh, to you. <laughs> yeah, we are looking forward. So. Yeah. yeah, thank Thanks you so much for. Thank you. thank you very much. I loved it. Mm -hmm. I loved it.